Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Maybe you weren't gone that long if you just came from my 2019 bullet journal setup video. If you haven't seen that yet, I just posted it the other day. For this month, I decided to do this dark foresty theme. I actually wasn't lazy this month and I used watercolor and actually tried. <laughs> These trees are actually very easy to do. You don't have to have a lot of art skill to do this. Maybe just some experience with watercolor and a fan brush because this was super easy. You can make them as messy or as neat as you want. And I had a lot of fun creating it. And before I forget to mention, if you like my videos and the content I'm creating, don't be afraid to tap that like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, my videos have not been showing up in people's feeds lately, so tap that bell to get notifications when I post. Here's just the monthly calendar that I do every month. Nothing really out of the ordinary here, but I did add some more watercolor trees to continue that theme and also help fill that space well. Moving on, I have my habit tracker and my expense tracker on these next two pages. And I didn't show every setup of every habit. I just showed two just because you didn't need to see me doing the same thing over and over again. And then the expense tracker is pretty simple. You'll see it. It's just a description and the amount just to keep track of my expenses and where I'm spending money. On these two pages, I added a January bucket list, which is something I recently started doing in every month, and also a brain dump, which is just where I have random lists and random things I like to write down. Also this month, I brought back my sleep log, which is something I've done in the past, but I didn't really keep up with it, but I'm interested in trying again. And of course, you know, if you've been following my bullet journal videos for a, wh a while, I end every month on a quote. And this month's quote is, don't be afraid to start over. It's a brand new opportunity to rebuild what you truly want. And I thought that was fitting for the new year. And on these last two pages, I have my weekly setup. I only do one week at a time, so you're only going to see me set up week one. All right guys, this is my setup for January. I hope you liked it. I loved the trees and the color. 
I hope you got some inspiration for your own bullet journals here. And I hope you have an awesome January. If you haven't yet, make sure you check out my 2019 bullet journal setup. I love that video as well. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and tap that bell for notifications because I post every week. Alright guys, I love you to the end of Space and Back. Bye.